Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the Align features and the guidelines that are within Inkscape. So I'm not actually going to show you how to make anything, but I'm going to show you how to use some of the features that might help you with any of your future projects. So, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I use the Align icon up here quite a lot. And when you click on it, it brings up the align options. So I usually always have it set to selection, which basically means any of these functions that you choose to use will work with anything that you have on your page that's selected. So I'm going to click on this square, hold my shift key down, and I'm going to click on this scallop shape. And then I'm going to come up here and I've got selection chosen. I'm going to click on the icon that says center vertical and click on the icon that says center horizontal. So that has now put that scallop right in the middle of that square. I'm going to click somewhere just to deselect. So say I want to turn this into a card. If I click on this square, hold my shift key down and click on that square and then come over here and click on the align bottom edges. That just makes sure that these two aligned in the same position on the bottom here. Now I'm going to deselect and click on this one to select it and using the arrows on my keyboard, I'm going to scoot it over until it meets the other one. Okay, and you can see when it gets more or less there. So I'm going to click one more time to the right with my right arrow on that one. And then I'm going to click this one just to select this one and use my left arrow and click that once. And hopefully they will be overlapped enough to weld. So while this one on the right is selected, I'm going to hold my shift key down and select that one. So I've only got the two squares selected, not this one in the middle. That's just positioned in the middle there. And then while those two are selected, I'm going to go path union. So that would make a card now. If I folded that down the, down the middle, I'd have a five by five card with a pattern in the middle. I'm just going to fill this box with colour just so that you can see it better on the screen. Okay, now I'm going to drag an imaginary box around both of those and I'm going to go to path combine and that would make me a card that I could fold in half and it would have this aperture cut out of it. So that's one way of using the align tools. But within here, you can change what you, how you want to align. So if you put, if you choose page, and then I click this rectangle up here. Um, sorry, my screen's just jumping around. I can now choose to align this pinky coloured rectangle to my page rather than to another object. So if I want to put it in this top corner. While it's selected, I can choose Align Left Edge and that will move it over to the left and it's gone to the left of my page because I've got page selected. And then if I come to this one, Align Top Edges, it will align it to the top of my page. So that's quite handy because sometimes you want to use your rulers which run along the top and down the side. And if you know that your shape's aligned in a top corner, then that can help. Equally, I could have aligned it down here. So I could say align bottom and I could choose right and it would put it there. So I'm just going to change it back to left and top for now. Now, what if I want to centre this design on this half of this rectangle? So another thing that we can do, I'm just going to zoom out a little so you can see better. If you come over here to the ruler, which runs down the left hand side of the page and along the top, 
When you come into the ruler area, you will see a black triangle appear. And if you click on that left click and drag, you can drag out a, rule, a guideline. Sorry, my screen's jumping around today. So you can drag out a guideline and it's blue, but when you hover over it, it turns red. And when it's red, you can move it. So if I bring this out and put it directly in the middle of those two black arrows here and here, that's the center of this rectangle now and I want to position this scallop within this half so what I can do now is come up here find another black triangle and drag a ruler down and I can center that through the middle of this arrow and the one here so that's divided up my rectangle then if I click on my scallop I can bring this over and I'm, I'll, I'd still be guessing a little, but what I can do, I know that this rectangle, this half of this rectangle is five inches because it's actually a 10 by five card. So if I drag another guide out and put this at seven and a half, that is the middle of this half. So when I click on this now, I can use these arrows here to align with this horizontal running guide. And I can use this arrow here at the top and the bottom to align on this guide. So I can use the arrows on my keyboard to position it. And then to remove the guides, you can go to view, click on guides and they'll go just to give you an idea of how it will look. And then if you click on view and click on guides, they come back. And then once you're happy with your positioning, you just hover over your guide until it turns red and then slide it out of the way. And then if you want to use them even more precisely, if you once you hover over one that's red, if you double click, you can actually change the position by typing in a number. So if I want this guideline at the five inch mark, I can type five in there because I'm on inches and I can click OK and it moves. So they're quite helpful to use in all sorts of ways. So again, on this one, I'm just going to drag an imaginary box around both of those and I'm going to go path, combine. And again, that would give me a card. So there's two ways of doing it and um, it's up to you how you use it. But you can also, if you come up here into the top corner, you'll, you'll see two triangles appear. And if you click on one, you can actually drag a guideline out diagonally as well, which are quite helpful sometimes if you want to get angles. And then again, if you don't, when you finish with it, you click on it once it's red and just slide it back up out of the way. So I hope you find that helpful. Please like, share and subscribe, leave me any questions or comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.